Hello, my name is Anna Ogren, and you're listening to Border Crossings. Today, I got to have a conversation with Logan Lynn, a singer, songwriter, and producer based in Portland, Oregon. Working and growing up in the music industry for the last two decades, Logan's identity has always been tied to why he writes songs. I think I started out of necessity. Like I had so much going on up up in him's brains that needed to get out somehow. Um, And I found songwriting. I found a way to sort of be loud about things that um, I was only ever able to be quiet about before. Uh, and it really saved me. I mean, my first, I wrote my first mixtape in 98, and those songs were songs I wrote when I was 15, 16, 17 years old. Um, yeah, I started out a necessity, and I think I still am motivated by the same thing. I think my motivation is the same, but I'm a totally, obviously, a totally different person at 42 than I was at 17 or 15. Um, I was also on drugs back then, you know? I was like really struggling with drugs and alcohol, addiction, with my mental health. And so you can hear that in the songs, right? Like you can actually hear that I am not well. I'd say my career is kind of divided into two. Everything that happened before 2008, which is when I got well and and have been clean ever since. Um, But, you know, everything that happens after is sort of that chapter where I'm a different person. I did a listen pretty recently, you know, I got signed to Kill Rockstars um, last year and was like, I better listen to my catalog just to like remember like (laughs) what people are gonna hear. A lot of the songs sound um, like a person who's really struggling, really in pain, but has good me- melodies. You know, I, as I was listening through to some of that, I was also like had some high fives for that kid because uh, I don't know how I pulled some of that off. He's watched the industry change as he's worked within it, noting the massive growth in inclusion and acceptance for LGBTQ plus artists. I mean, I think when I started, I was too gay to be considered for anything mainstream. Uh, And then now it feels like the public and the mainstream and certainly the industry feels like it has totally changed where that's like fine to do, right? Like it's not as scandalous. I'm not as scandalous as a human being in the world. I am getting opportunities and lots of queer, younger pop people are getting like huge opportunities, which doesn't mean that the music industry's homophobia problem is fixed, but it does mean that there's like a new, a sort of a new level of visibility that just did not exist when I was a kid, certainly did not exist when I was 17 singing about my gay feelings. His newest song called Here's to Us, which you're about to hear, is a tribute to finding community when feeling like an outcast. Yeah, Here's to Us is the one sort of ballad on the record. You know, it's an album closer and is a call to anybody who's ever felt put upon or pushed aside or left left out um, to sort of uh, link with me and, and we'll be left out together. Like this whole idea that this is our space and we're allowed to be here is um, sort of a through line. And I think that the song is an anthem for that sentiment. I just want to make sure that I'm making space in my art for people that feel stuck, for people that feel like they're in the back of the bus. I'm going to join you. And I think that the, the, the dance music vehicle is a really, um, a really inspiring way to look at things that you don't want to look at. You know, to be able to dance and also feel at the same time is um, an important part of what I'm doing, and I I hope people can join me there. Logan Lin's newest album, called New Money, will be out in early 2022. This has been Anna for Border Crossings on Voice of America, and this is a brand new song by Logan Lin called Here's to Us. Here's to us, they never notice cause we're on the back of the bus, we're on the back of the bus. And here's to us, an everlasting crush. We're on the back of the bus. We're on the back of the bus. Oh.